Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. We're about to make a banana, pineapple, avocado, kale, weight loss smoothie. Mm-mm-mm, it's gonna be so good. Summertime is right around the corner and it's time for you to get your belly on flat flat, okay? And be able to shed that fat. So we're gonna work on that today and I'm gonna show you how, all right? Pop that right there, stay. All right, cool. So, take my kale in a nice little scrunch full. Put it in your blender. Close that up. I got a cup of pineapple. Only got a little bit left in here, just gonna add the rest. All right, pineapple. I'm gonna take some of my avocado. And I'm going to break this into my smoothie. Avocados taste really good and they're a healthy fat. You have good fats and bad fats. And this is a good fat you want to have in your body. And for all my ladies out there who are trying to build a booty, Avocados help with that. Trust me. <laughs> I would know. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now, I need to add my banana. If you really love bananas, you can add two. Um, but for the sake of today, I'm just going to add one. Okay. And my chia seeds. I'm going to take my measuring cup. I'm going to use one fourth. Okay. Take it in. Okay. I didn't fill the whole thing up. Just enough. Mm. Boom. The last ingredient will be honey. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle some honey on top. You don't, really don't want to want a lot. You just want to get a few swirls around one, two, three, and don't squeeze hard. Okay. Now I need to get my water. I just want one cup of water. I'm gonna pour it on top. You see, in the other smoothies that I've made, I use almond milk, but water has zero calories. And we want to lose weight here, which is why we're not adding almond milk today. Almond milk does not add a lot of calories, but the almond milk that I do have here says 50 per serving. So when you're trying to lose weight and you really, really are counting your calories, you want to use water, a water-based um, liquid. You don't want to use, you know, milk or anything like that. Okay, so now I'm about to start this, baby. Mm. 
That tastes pretty good. It's nice and green. Mm, look at all that. It has a milkshake um, type of consistency. I know that's because of the avocado and the banana. Yet you can still taste a little bit of sugar from the fruit, but it's not a whole lot, which is great because you don't want a lot of sugar in anything that you're eating or drinking when you're trying to lose weight. Okay, so this is perfect. And I added a little bit of honey to take away the bitterness, which is perfect. Y'all, if you're trying to lose weight, you want to try this smoothie. I would I would drink this once a day. Once a day. Um, I would drink this for a snack. Um, and if you're feeling very... Hmm... If you want a challenge, I would say use it as a meal replacement when you're trying to lose weight. Okay? But definitely a snack or meal replacement um, for lunch or dinner. Do not do this for a meal replacement for breakfast because you need more nutrients to start your day. Personally, if I have a shake that does not have um, more packed nutrients in it and I drink it in the morning, I have low energy because, you, you know, I don't have enough nutrients to get me going. Once again, like I said in my other videos, you want your brain to function at high levels. You don't want them to function at low levels. So, you want to have, um, in the morning, stuff with more protein in it. If you're going to have it for a um, breakfast shake, you need a protein-packed smoothie for breakfast. But this particular shake is for a snack or dinner. Because, see, at night, you, you don't want to have a lot of stuff on your... Um, stomach. It takes a lot of energy to process foods. Okay, so there you have it. It's going to be a great smoothie. You got to try this if you're trying to lose weight. See you all soon.